Hello everyone, my name is Roy Jafari and I would like to welcome you to another video. In this video, we are going to continue learning about how we are going to use Python modules to manipulate and pre-process data. In this specific video, we are going to learn about one of the very useful functionalities of NumPy module. We are going to learn how we can create random numbers using NumPy. Uh, the example we are going to use in this video is going to, we are going to create a 10 frame videos using NumPy random number generator. So to do that, we are going to first learn about NumPy random generator, its functionalities and its advantages that is going to great in creating random numbers and then we are going to use that to create a random 10 frame movie. All right, let's get started. Okay, of course, the first thing we are going to do is to uh, import NumPy as NP and, you know, creating random numbers using NumPy is as simple as just writing this code, right? So when you, um, you know, want to create random numbers, you have to access this class of functions and programming properties then uh, fun call this function right so when we call np random dot random function it basically generates a random number between zero and one so if we were to run this a few times you can see it generates random numbers between zero and one a lot of times what we want is not just one random number we want a sequence of random numbers in a specific data structure, right? So in this in the example that we're going to use and learn in this video, we're going to create a specific, um, you know, random data structure. We're going to learn how to create just with one line of code, how we're going to create a 10 frame movie randomly, right? So that's the most valuable property of NumPy random number generators, you can actually prescribe the data structure you want these random, random numbers to be put in, right? So for instance, we can have a three-dimensional data structure, right? So for instance, we have 20, 20, 20. We are going to have a three-dimensional data structure that is going to have random numbers. So, you know, we're going to have, in dimension one, we're gonna have 20 axes, dimension two, and dimension three, right? So we could, you know, sort of create a more simpler data structure dimension. So this would be a 20 by 20 table, right? 20 rows and 20 columns. And we can be as, you know, specific or as, you know, uh, long or complex of a data that we want. And this random generator, num ram numpy random generator will create that data structure for us, right? So that's actually its strongest strongest suit numpy being able to create random numbers in a, uh, in a specific structure that we want right so that's that right and uh, let me scroll down and talk a little bit about a few other things before we get into our example uh, so this class of functions and programming properties is not just one function we've got a lot of different other functions, right? So we started using this one function, but you can see there are other types of functions that you can take advantage of here. And a lot of them are actually random distribution. So for instance, you can create normal, uh, you know, random random numbers based on normal distribution, Poisson distribution, power distribution, and so on and so forth, right? You can also create uh, integer random numbers, right? So I'm not going to go over all of these, but you know, just you know, know that if there is something random that you need to create, there is a good chance that NumPy has it, right? So you want to like you know check these uh, before uh, you want to like create your own uh, sort of a random generator. Uh, in, in, in even in that case, you can still use this you know random base right you know that random uh, base to create those functions as well. but uh, probably you're not going to need to because this is going to happen so for instance we can use the 
brand it to give us an integer between 0 and 10 right so number 10 is not going to be included it's going to be from 0 to 9 in, in reality so number 10 is just a cap but uh, python doesn't include that or numpy in this case right we can also say we want it from specific numbers we can say from number 5 to 10 right so it's going to be either 5 6 7 8 9 right so well, if we run this a few times you can see that actually uh, is the case and we can also prescribe what we want right so here we prescribe that the structure that we want is 10 by 10 we want a number from 5 to 10 and the structure is we want a table for of you know 10 rows and 10 columns right so we can create that number as well right so you can see uh, working with numpy random generator is very simple and straightforward like i said there are other um, you know distribution and functions that this has but we are not going to go over them in this video so now let's bring our focus to the example right so in this example we want to generate randomly generate 10 images with 400 and 300 pixels right so it's basically a very short movie we want to create randomly right so every uh, picture is um, a collections of um, pixels right and every pixel is a collections of uh, three numbers right so you've got red green, green and blue combination of red green and blue gives you a color right so when we create randomly create one number three numbers that this is this is this is doing for us it creates a number between 0 to 256 to 255 right and we create three of them this is just one pixel so this is basically um, the um, number that represent the redness right greenness rgb and blueness and the combination of red green and blue will create um, sort of a sort of a color for us right so for instance we can show this using the um, image using the pale module we can actually show it it's kind of very too small we cannot actually appreciate the color how about we use the numpy tile function uh, to tile this up right you know just you know make it larger so we can actually see the color if you don't know how the function tile work i recommend that you watch my video that i dis that i discussed the function tile there's a specific video for the tile function so basically we tile up this one pixel of you know 50 of them right 50 times we tile up this one pixel and once we do that now we can see that the shape of our data is just exactly like one image right so we tile it up so it has 50 pixel it's one pixel in uh, practice but it has 50 pixels as far as the data because we want it to be larger so now we can Put this all together right so one every time we run this it's going to give us a new color right so we create these colors completely randomly right the combination of three random numbers from 0 to uh, 255 each representing redness greenness and blueness will create a function clear cre create a new color for us right so this is how we would be able to use uh, numpy random to create one pixel how about if we wanted to create one image right all we would need to change really is the data structure that we are prescribing here right so before one pixel we only needed three numbers for one image with 400 300 400 cross 300 pixels we are going to need this data structure we're going to need 300 400 and the depth of 3 right so this is going to be the data structure of one image with 300 400 pixel quality so once we create this uh, this is how the data looks like this is just one image right we can also look at the shape of course the shape is the what we just pre prescribed and we can also grab the colors 
that you know are all of the um, you know blue colors all of the uh, red colors we can grab them by this all of the green colors the numbers that you know represent the green colors and all of the uh, blue colors are represented by you can like access them by this right so let's go ahead and show this you know one image right so once we run you, you use this uh, pill the function image from the pill module we can actually see this one image right so we just created this image uh, completely randomly right? I mean it, it looks I mean it, it is it looks kind of like jumble love and there are a lot of colors there but that's the idea here right so stepping this up from a an image you know just creating random image to creating a random movie with 10 frame would only require us to change the data structure we provide to numpy random right so that's the beauty of numpy random generator now we can here simply add 10 frames here right so we've got 10 frames or 10 images and this is each image data structure and it can simply create that image for us right so for instance we can show the first image by uh, using this code right here we go right so this is one image we can like move that image you know by just you know changing this from 0 to 10 imagine that pay attention that this was that index that we used to uh, show different you know, sort of create different images right so we could show that as well so that's how that works we can also you know use the um, you know show function of the um, you know image object from the pair module to just actually show the image consecutively using this loop right so once we if we run this another window will open in your um, computer and it starts generating um, these images that we created all right, so in this video, we learned how to take advantage of NumPy random generator uh, to create um, random images and also a random movie. Uh, we're going to extensively use this functionality of NumPy to create uh, mock data for us to for us to be able to learn about different functionalities of pandas and NumPy as we go about learning about how we can go about manipulating data the best possible way. All right.